Good morning, everyone. It is chapel time. It is that moment. It is that hour when we're coming together to just spend a little bit of time in his word. Now, some may say to yourselves, man, this is not really chapel. But every time you invite God into your life, into your home, into your bedroom, into whatever situation that it may be, we want to simply say thank you to God. And so this morning, we're asking the Holy Spirit to be with us. And I know that some of you may be not ready, you're not ready for worship, but we want to make ourselves ready for worship this morning. We want to pray for every parent. We want to pray for every student and every teacher, because as we talk a little bit about service, we want to hear from God. Let's bow our heads together as we look to him who can help us in everything. Father, again, we come before you thanking you for everything. We thank you for life, and we thank you for the opportunity of prayer. We thank you for the opportunity that we can come together with our students, with our parents, and with our teachers. And this morning, we're asking that whatever is said and done will be pleasing to you. And as we talk a little bit, may your Holy Spirit bless us. In Jesus' name, amen. And so this, uh, this morning, we want to talk about service. The best thing to realize about service is, is service all about getting paid for something? Is service all about um, doing something for free? Or is service really about doing to others as you want them to do for you? Well, I want to to share with you this story about Jesus and his disciples. The story comes from uh, John chapter 13. And if you have your Bibles... As we look at this, we can read it together, okay? It says, it was just before the Passover. Jesus knew that the hour had come for him to leave this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The evening meal was in progress, and the devil had already prompted Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, to betray Jesus. And Jesus knew that the Father had put all things under his power, and that he had come from God and was returning to God. Listen to the story. So he got up from the meal, took off his outer clothing, and wrapped a towel around his waist. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet, drying them with a towel that was wrapped around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said unto him, Lord, are you really going to wash my feet? And Jesus replied, You do not realize now what I'm doing, but later you'll understand. So Peter said, you should never wash my feet or you will never wash my feet. And Jesus says, unless I wash with you, you will have no part with me. Jesus is at a place now that he was with his disciples and they just came up from the meal. And Jesus wanted them to understand that if they're going to do the work as disciples, that they had to do service. They had to care for others. They had to do for one another. And Jesus decided that he was going to be a leader by serving. I look at you middle school kids and I ask you, uh, what do you think service is? Service is really about you doing for someone that God would do for them. And Jesus says, if I'm going to be a leader, I've got to serve. And I want you to understand something, that if you're going to be a leader, you've got to serve. What Jesus did was he took off his outer coat and then he put a towel around his waist, and he began washing his disciples' feet one after the other. The Bible says that Peter, you know, he he got beside himself. He was like, oh, no, you're not washing my feet. No, why? Because Peter felt like Jesus was too big for that. He was too great for that. And Jesus was saying, if I'm great, then I'll serve. You see, service is a big deal when it comes to God. You're not too young, fifth grader, sixth grader, seventh grader, eighth grader. You're not too young to serve. God wants you to serve if you're going to be a leader. And he simply says, if I did it for my disciples in John 13, then you can do it in your life. See, so maybe someone needs help with something. It is okay to do something for someone else. And, you know, a lot of times we say, oh, I'm not going to do that unless I get paid or I'm not going to do this unless I get something for it. But God is not asking us to serve so that we can get something. He's asking us to serve because he served us. And how? 
the Bible tells us that Jesus gave himself for us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Now, if he gave his only begotten son, he did something for us. He did service for us. And Jesus is saying, hey, I can do service for you too. I, If I can wash my disciples' feet, then you can do service for someone else. And what does that look like for you as students? What does it look like for you as parents? What does it look like for you as teachers? That a lot of times we do things, it's not because of a paycheck. We do it because... God wants us to do it. It makes God look good. Students, we do what we do because it makes our families look good. Parents, we do what we do because we want uh, our children to understand what service is. But all in all, we want to be like Jesus. We do what we do because we want God to be glorified. So what does that mean? It means helping out in chores. It means helping out not just by sweeping, but maybe in the laundry maybe by cooking or washing dishes. But the greatest thing we need to understand is that Jesus wants us to be like him. So the Bible clearly tells us that Jesus got up and he began to wash the disciples' feet. And he says that if you want to have a part with me, then you got to do what I do. You got to allow me to serve and serve because that's what I would do as a Christian and as Jesus has done for us. Today, as you do your duties around the house, today, as you may feel quarantined, today, as you may feel like you can't do everything you want to do, do this, serve. And as you serve, you'll be doing what Jesus wants you to do. Come on, everyone, help around the house, help your parents, do something great for someone, and know that you're being just like Jesus. Today, it's all about service. Let's pray together. Father, again, we come before you thanking you for the opportunity of serving. And as we recognize that you have served, we want to serve also. So help us to be more like you. And so we're asking God that you will continue to bless us, strengthen us, guide us today, guard us today, help us to be more and more like you so that when you come, we'll be saved in your kingdom. Bless every child, bless every parent, bless every teacher. All these mercies we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So remember, today is all about service.